What is up guys, Petrify here, welcome to my very first World Zero video. I've been playing this game for quite some time, especially back when it was uh, in alpha, and I bought it back then and played it. But today I'm finally deciding to upload World Zero. So if you guys are enjoying this video and you do want to see more, hit that like button down below and you can also leave comments down below what videos you like me to do next. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you get notified every single time I do upload a World Zero video. One last thing I want to say is I do have a Discord for World Zero parties. So if you guys are looking for people to play with, even if you're a low level or a high level for tower runs, I do have a Discord specifically for this. It's still in the making, but you guys can join and make new friends and find people to run towers with or to level up with. I'll leave a link in the description down below, right to the Discord. Hopefully that's helpful to a lot of you guys as well. Anyways, link in the description down below if you guys want to join. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get uh, the best progress, the fastest possible progress to get through the battle pass tiers. As you can see, I'm almost tier 7, and by the end of this video, I will be tier 7. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the best methods for high and low ranks. So starting off for high ranks, this is going to be a very simple. You guys probably already do this uh, and you already know about it. But doing the tower runs is probably the best way to get candy corn because you get it from the mobs uh, while you're running through and finding the chest. You get it from those. So if you run around and you just hit your R ability, for example, as uh, Berserker, I just hit this and I kill a huge amount of them and I get candy corn pretty much every single time I kill some. So... Uh, because i kill them in piles and then not only do you get it from the mobs when you're finding the chest you also get it from uh the bosses now the bosses themselves have a chance to drop candy corn and also the first chest that you open after you kill the boss will drop candy corn as well it's like an 80 percent chance so it's very possible you might not get it but you have a way higher chance to actually get candy corn after defeating each boss so just keep that in mind and this is probably the best way to get candy corn if you're a higher rank. Uh, and then you also have world bosses that everybody can do, high or low ranks. You're guaranteed candy corn from world bosses, so I re recommend doing those. And uh, just running around and killing normal normal uh, things while you're running to certain stuff, you can get candy corn from that as well. Do I really recommend that? Not really. I recommend doing the side bosses and also the main missions. One thing I do want to point out, as a high rank, you cannot go back to World 1 and kill stuff and one-shot them. You have to be within 10 levels of the thing that you're killing to actually drop candy corn. Just keep that in mind so there's no easy method of doing that. Uh, so don't try it. You're going to be wasting your time, I promise. Anyways, next uh, tip that I have for you guys is doing your quest. Now, they could have fixed it before I go through and do, this, do it on the video, but I'm going to do it live on the video. If they fix it, I apologize. But if you guys have three characters... You guys can complete this quest on each of your characters and get candy corn. 350 per. That means you're about to be getting two tiers if you actually complete this on each of your characters. So we're going to go ahead and do this on our main character real quick. Since we're right here, we're also going to do this world event so we get a little bit more candy corn. Just keep in mind, doing all these little things will help you uh, get through the battle pass very quickly. So make sure you guys are doing them. Uh, even if they're below your level, it does help. Alrighty, boys, that is our first quest done. So we claim that. We get a free 350. And not only that, that completes our first tier and our battle pass. Well, not first tier, our seventh tier. So we're going to claim both of those. Let's see if we get out of the ore chest. Please be good. Please. Ooh, okay. That's actually something I wanted. We're going to put that on real quick. Oh, look at that, dude. That's sick. It, it it looks really bad with my current axes. I don't know why my character is bugging. He doesn't know how to walk anymore. Anyways, it doesn't look as good because of the glow on my weapons, but I mean, that's very nice. Anyways, let's hop on our next character. Uh, so if you guys have three characters made, you can hop on your next character and do that same exact process. It's going to be a different challenge, but you still get to complete another quest for 350 candy corn, which is nuts. So on here, our quest is to defeat 30 toucans. So we're going to go back to World 1 and kill 30 toucans. But I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys all this process. But just know, make three characters. Doesn't matter if it's a brand new character. You might have to level it a little bit. But it doesn't take long from start game to get like around level 20. And then complete this on three of your characters. And you get two battle pass tiers plus over halfway for the third one. So that's literally insane. 
So go ahead and complete all those quests on all three of your characters and you'll get all of those candy corns, which is nuts. Make sure you guys are doing that. Now, this next method I have for you guys is a little bit insane, but if you're somebody that really, really wants to get done with the battle pass as fast as possible, I recommend making a brand new character from level one and grinding up into second world and then playing this mission right over here. If you press V, it's going to be this first one right here. Now, the first time I actually did this mission, I got 90 candy coin from it. I'm not entirely sure why. It might be all the mini bosses that are in this dungeon because you have one, two, three. You have around three or four mini bosses within this mission alone. So that might be why I got so many candy corn, but I recommend doing that. Now, obviously, you can't go from level 75, like your level 75 character, and come here and do that anyways. It will not work. Uh, you got to be within level uh, 10 levels of the mobs that you're killing to actually get candy corn uh that's if somebody really really wants to get done with the battle pass now my character is already low level so i can already do this myself but obviously i can't do it for too long because i'm gonna level up too much but what you can do is repeat the process go from level one uh to this world do that mission multiple times until you can't do it anymore for candy corn uh keep in mind like i said this is only for people that really really want to get done with the battle pass because it's a long process you're getting candy corn from uh level one all the way up until here and then you're getting more candy corn here uh so it, uh, overall you get a lot of candy corn doing this process but i don't really recommend this method to everybody because it is a big waste of time if you guys are level 75 i recommend just running the tower and continuously run that over and over again and also do your dailies on all three of your characters if you don't do your dailies on three, all three of your characters, you are going to be far behind everybody else. And whenever these pop up, go do them. You get maybe five to ten candy corn, but that's about it. But it, I mean, it only lasts two minutes, and that's five to ten candy corn less that you had to get. Alrighty, boys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If you guys like to see more World Zero and uh, more helpful videos like this one, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. And you can also comment down below things that you need help with or things you'd like to see videos on, whether it's a demon class or classes overall, what you should be running things like that. I also want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a video on a thousand elite boars uh, to get the free mount in the first world. I might do a tutorial on that and show you guys how to get and get it as fast as possible, the fastest method for that uh, in another video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys are hitting that like button down below. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll be much appreciated. Uh, if you guys want to see more World Zero on the channel, subscribe, like, turn on notifications so you get notified every single time I do upload a World Zero video. I'll be live streaming later today, so if you guys want to see that, I'll be streaming some World Zero uh, tower runs. So if you guys are a high enough level for towers, you can come join and play with me and get full tower parties. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Peace out.